Caro can defense, advance, but Vinick Carl's defense. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. In the Karo Khan defense, the pawns on d7 and d5 can be quickly pushed to take control of the center and engage the e4 pawn. The d4 square seizes the center and launches an assault on the e5 and c5 squares. The pawn on e4 is under attack from the center, where d5. e5 closes the center and controls the important d6 and f6 squares. c5 moves the same pawn twice in the first three moves, but it takes more space in the center and attacks the d4 pawn. This develops a knight from its starting square, activating it. This exchange is fair. Recaptures. It is the last book move. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. That's good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is excellent. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This ignores an opportunity to develop a knight off its starting square. It is a mistake. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Thus, the attacked pawn is protected. That is good. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is excellent. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. It's alright. That's good. The knight can now control more squares as a result. That's good. This wastes a chance to gain a pawn. That falls flat. This enables the adversary to disclose a bishop attack. It is incorrect. This is a missed chance to expose a bishop attack. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. On the file. The rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This poses a threat to strike a knight. This enables the adversary to make a passed pawn. It is incorrect. This ignores an opportunity to create a passed pawn. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a mistake. This exposes a bishop attack. It is ideal. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. From a prior move, recaptures. It is ideal. This ignores a safer approach to moving a queen. It is incorrect. The pawn is now suitably protected. That's good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. That's a decent move. That's good. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. There was only one good move in that position. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. It is a mistake. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. That's good. Backs off. That's good. 
This poses the risk of producing a past pawn. That's good. It was a free pawn there. It is ideal. This wastes a chance to threaten a rook and gain the tempo. It is incorrect. This exchange is fair. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Backs off. It is ideal. This ignores a better way to pin a rook to the king. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a better way to defend a rook that was under attack. It is an inaccuracy. This gains time by putting a queen in danger and getting it to flee. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This offers an equal trade of pieces. This is the only good move. It is a great move. It's all right. That's good. This moves the checking rook farther away. It is ideal. The queen is now on a square that is more secure. This raises the possibility of an eventual checkmate. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This permits the opponent to take an outpost with a knight. It is a mistake. This leaves a pawn without defenders. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. This missed a move that would have produced a winning advantage. This ignores an opportunity to block an attack on a vulnerable pawn. It is a blunder. That pawn was available for free. It is ideal. That was a great move and very hard to find. It is brilliant. Thus, a forced checkmate is possible. It is a mistake. That was a truly amazing move. This took advantage of a mistake and white now has a winning advantage. This is the start of the end game and white is winning. It is brilliant. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. The opening was balanced. White was a cut above black in the middle game. 